Hey, how you doing today? I'm Dan McGee. Welcome to my garage. Um, I had a couple of trees die in the fall, so I figured I would just wait till the springtime to go ahead and cut them down. So I normally, when I'm trimming my trees, I'll use a sawzall with a tree blade, or else I'll use a, a bow saw. Well, these are a little bigger than I normally deal with. The bases are probably 12 to 14 inches in diameter. So anyhow, I ended up uh, looking into a couple of different chainsaws. I was thinking about uh, using a gas type, but they're more expensive, and then you got to deal with the mixing of the oil. So I decided to, for the amount of time that I'm going to use it, which is probably right now, I'm going to use it for a day, and then maybe a couple times a year just to cut up some firewood. I figure the electric would be uh, plenty powerful for what I need. Uh, I guess the drawback on an electric chainsaw is you have an ex you have to have an extension cord for it, but uh, I've got a lot of extension cords and I'm not afraid to use them. So they do have a battery type too, but they're three to four hundred dollars for a decent one, and that's way more than I wanted to spend. This one's probably a little over a hundred. I can't remember a hundred, maybe a hundred twenty-five. But it's a pretty cool saw. It actually has a, a special blade that um, has a, um, a sharpening stone that's uh, built into it. And what, what, how it works is, as the blade's spinning, you pull this little red lever back, and it takes a, a sharpening stone and moves it into the moving blade. So it actually throws off, the spark, throws off some sparks as it's sharpening, and that's kind of cool anyways, just watching the uh, sparks flying around. Anyhow, uh, it only takes a couple seconds, and then the blade's like new again. So I'm uh, kind of anxious to go out there and cut the trees down and cut them up and see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish my tea, and then I'll uh, meet you in the yard. So I'll see you in a bit. So I'm out here in the yard now, and I'm, um, I cut up a little bit. It seems to be working pretty good, so let's cut a little more. cool about this saw is uh, once you stop cutting it the blade stops immediately watch this so it's, pre it's a pretty safe saw too I'm real happy with it so far Anyways, looks pretty cool to me. Love it. So that's about it for today. I um, got all this cut up in about maybe 15 minutes, and the blade is still sharp as can be. It's a softer wood, so I'm not surprised. But anyhow, it worked out great. So. I did cut up a few pieces of uh, cherry wood from the cherry tree, and I cut through that really nice too. So I'm going back in the shop and uh, do some more stuff in there. So, <clears throat> all in all, I think the saw really worked out well, especially with the minimal use that I'm going to um, do with it. 
and the fact that it was only around 100 bucks 125 bucks so if you got a you know small job maybe a couple little trees or you're the guy that um, has a fireplace and he gets free logs from his neighbors or whatever and then he needs to cut them up I think this is the saw to go with you don't ever have to worry about pulling on it trying to uh, start it up it just plug it in and make sure it has um, oil for the um, for the chain which actually is right here you fill it up with oil here and but by, by the way this is that lever you pull back and then right in here there's a, a curved stone that when you pull back that's what um, rides on top of the stone and that grinds uh, the sharpness back on the uh, the blade so anyways it's pretty cool I would uh, definitely recommend it but it'd be nice if um, Oregon would give me some free stuff but anyhow I'm just kidding I just bought it because it looked cool and I like the idea of the, um, the self sharpening so that's about it um, iced tea now it's got warmer so I'll um talk to you later have a good day